Good morning. We're so glad you're here at Westgate. If you are a guest with us today, please make sure to stop by the welcome desk in the lobby to pick up a special welcome gift. We join together this morning to sing praises to God, to gather strength and deepen our faith in God by spending time in His Word, to offer our praise and petitions through prayer, and to commune with one another as we remember and celebrate the blood and body Jesus Christ sacrificed for us. What a blessing it is to be here. We're so glad you've joined us. Westgate Christian School is having a supply drive to prepare for the coming year's school needs. There is a bin in the tiled foyer for donations and the deadline to donate is August 18th. A list of needed items is in the tiled foyer as well. For those interested in becoming foster parents, Agape will hold an informational meeting on Monday, August 12th at 6 p.m followed by a training class on Monday, August 19th from 6 to 9 p.m. Both events will be held at Grace Bible Church in Troy. Every Monday at 10 a.m., we have the privilege to worship with the residents at Extendicare. This time is very special to the residents and our members. If you would like more information about this service, please see Mike Murphy. To stay informed about events at Westgate, be sure to sign up for our weekly Westgate On The Go email. You can go to the bottom of our website or scan the QR code on the cover of the bulletin and scroll to the bottom of the page. During the Prohibition era in the United States, John Todd found a way to sneak a little whiskey for himself. One day after imbibing, he decided to go for a drive. Local residents quickly became frustrated at his slow pace on the road and called the local authorities, who arrived at the scene and arrested Todd for drunk driving. It turned out he wasn't the only tipsy one, as he had also shared his whiskey with the vehicle he was driving, a 5,000-pound elephant named Miss Fancy, who had escaped from the local zoo. Acts 3.19 encourages us to repent and turn back so that your sins may be wiped out, that seasons of refreshing may come from the presence of the Lord. Our lists of regret probably do not include a joy ride on an evasive elephant, but there are likely many other things on those lists. Even when apologies and forgiveness take place, we can allow the things we've done that grieve us to eat away and cause us to miss God's present glory at work in and around us. Trust in the forgiveness and mercy of God and the power of the redemptive blood of Christ, and don't let past actions negatively affect your current attitude. Join us in worshiping our God together.